Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to save money making homemade bread. And you do not have to slave in the kitchen all day long. This is not a sponsored video. I just get a lot of questions about my bread maker, so I figured I would share, and it's fall, so it's a perfect time to do so. And I love seeing how other people maximize their dollar in the kitchen, so I figured this would be a fun video to make and show you how easy it is. So if you start researching bread makers, you'll see that they can get pretty expensive, like hundreds of dollars. But the cheapest, best one you can find, in my opinion, is this Sunbeam bread maker. You can snag it for about $60 on Amazon. I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested, but be creative with where you're looking. I've seen them in thrift stores, talk to neighbors, see if somebody would be willing to loan you one before you invest in one, and find the one that works best for you. But like I said, in my opinion, this one is amazing and you get a lot for the price. I tend to save about 50 cents per loaf just by making it at home. Plus, if you look at the actual ingredients, even on good bread, you can't even pronounce like half the stuff on there with all those preservatives. So that's why I'm okay with taking a couple extra steps to give something to my family that I know is really wholesome. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the express bake, because you can get a loaf of bread in under an hour, it's awesome. But you wanna heat your water to 115 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit, and then just pour it into the little container. And to that, you're gonna add two tablespoons canola or vegetable oil, two tablespoons of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. Now for this express bake, you wanna use bread machine flour, but you guys can even get this in whole wheat, so it's really, really healthy for your family. And you also wanna get bread machine yeast. It comes in a big container you keep in your fridge, and this makes a ton of loaves of bread. And you wanna pour your room temperature yeast into a little well that you make with your fingers, and that's just so it doesn't come into contact with the wet ingredients. And then you put it in your bread maker and that's all you do. And you sit for an hour and think about the copious amounts of carbs you're about to consume. The interface on this machine is really easy to use and you just click the express bake, start, and the machine does everything for you. It kneads the bread so you're not slaving away in the kitchen. So if you've used a bread maker before, if you have one, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it, what type of bread you like to put in yours. Again, like I said, we tend to do the express bake a lot. The only real downside I see with this is that these loaves are only gonna last for a couple days if you keep them like wrapped and out in the fresh air. So what we tend to do is go through a few days of eating our sandwiches and enjoying it, and then I just slice up the bread and stick it in Ziploc bags and stick it in the freezer. And then we take out slices as we need them, toast them up, and they are amazing. So for us, especially during fall time, health-wise, cost-wise, we love our bread maker. Okay, now the big question. Fine, Catherine, but where the heck do you store that bread machine? Here's how we store ours. This is like my little medicine cabinet slash where we keep towels. And we have that really awkward corner that goes back into our cabinet that you really can't fit anything in anyway. So I just put the bread machine back there. We take it out when we need it. It's not hard to get, and it really doesn't take up that much room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have a bread machine, what you think, or if you consider getting one, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.